Hey y'all, let's take a look at surface area. Surface area is basically, like it says, the area of all the surfaces of a solid. In other words, if you had to paint some, I don't know, you know, some giant box and it was all closed up and you had to paint all the outside of the box or shape or whatever, you just have to figure out how many square feet, how much paint you would need. Let's say it's a giant, something giant. You'd need to figure out, well, I need enough paint to cover blah, 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 square feet or meters or whatever. So you need to go down to the guy and tell him, I need enough paint to, to paint this or that. That's what surface area is, okay? Well, let's look at a couple of examples. The easiest way to do this is to actually go dive right in here and let's do these, okay? Find the surface area of this rectangular box. All dimensions are in meters, okay? Delightful, meters. Okay, um, well, you know, let's, uh, we gotta figure out how many square meters there are. So we know how much paint or glitter to buy to cover this thing. So let's see. Well, this side's gonna be two by four, right? That's gonna be eight. And don't forget, by the way, over here on the other side, we can't see, that's another eight. So that's 16 total. This part here, that's three. And then, in other words, this is three. And then, of course, this is four. This goes all the way up to here as well. So the top is gonna to be three by four, which is 12. But don't forget, there's a bottom as well. So two 12s, that'll be 24. What are we missing? We're missing this side over here, right? That's gonna be three here, and we know this is gonna be two as well. So this will be three times two, which is six, but two of those, so that'll be 12 total. So that's 52, what, square meters. Not cubic, because we're not finding volume, we're just finding uh, area. Okay, try another one. Find the surface area of this hunk of Limburger cheese. <laughs> this is a big one too. It's uh. Here, it's four miles. Let me just say it's miles. That seems more fun. Here's a, oh, that's probably even too big. There's a little person standing by this hunk of Limburger cheese. It's visible to, you know, to people from like Saturn or whatever. Okay. Well, this is a little kind of strange here, but let's figure it out. They're going to have to find, first question is, how many sides are there to this thing? I mean, you can see this side right here. You can see that side right there. Don't forget, there's a side on the other side, right? It's exactly the same as this. And there's also a back side of this thing too, right? On the other, we can't quite see it. And there's also, by the way, a bottom to this thing that underneath there like this. So there are five sides to this thing. So let's find the triangle part, right? That's gonna be four, four, by, four times three, which is 12, but half of that, right? Triangles are half. So two times three, which is six. But don't forget, there's another one over here. So that's gonna be another six. So we got six and we got six, okay? The part that we can see right here, like this lighter part, that's five by six. That's gonna be 30, all right? That's three sides. We need the bottom now. Well, that's three by six, right? That's gonna be 18. We need the back as well. So we don't know the back. Let's see, how tall is that thing? Oh, it's gonna be four, right? And this part back here, we can't see on the other side. And of course, this part here will be six. So that's six by four will be 24, I don't even care what the answer is. Just add them all together, there you go. Make sure you get all five sides. Okay, that's surface area. Take a look on page 161 and try those two. I'll do one at a time, so just pause it and try problem A. Okay, A. Well, this part right here is four, two by two, right? Which means it's four on the other side as well. That's gonna be eight. Over here, we got, uh, you know, four, and then let's see, let's, see, let's do this side. And this is also two right here as well. So this will be eight on this side. And of course, on this side over here, you can't see, and that'll be another eight, so it's 16. Now we need to find the top, right? Well, that's gonna be two across this way, because this is two, and then four across that way. So there'll be an eight there, and another, another eight on the bottom, so that'll be 16. So you got 40 total. 40 something, I don't know, let's say it's miles squared. There you go. Okay, try B, see what you get. Oh boy, this thing is huge, man. Okay, so this is gonna be weird again. Same thing as we, we have five sides on this thing, just like the other one. So let's go ahead and do nine times 12 is 108. If you would like, you since you know there's another side exactly like it over here, like this part right there, just go ahead and do nine times 12 and just be done with it. Because why sit there and go, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that'll be nine times six and then 
divide by two and then you multiply by two, just, just do it once. It's 108 total. Okay. This part right here is 15 by 20, the top part, the lighter part. That's going to be 300. So that's three of them. We need the bottom. That'll be 12 by 20. That's 240. And then we need the back, which will be, that's going to be 20 from, you know, here to here. And then it'll be nine tall. So that's 180. So what is that? Oh, dear heavens. Eight there. And then a four, 12 there. And then that'll be six. And then was that nine? 420, 720. Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. <laughs> 408, uh, let's see, 648 plus, I think that's 828. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just eight. Okay, 828 square whatevers. Okay. All right. Good enough. See you guys next time. Take care.